Hello, this video is sponsored by Prison. Get 30% off admission for your next visit when you use the code I have a confession. Seek help immediately. <laughs> Guess who's here? I'm still here, 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 oh, I'm, I'm. Hello, patrons of the internet. Today, since all of y'all know a little too much about me, I thought it was time to switch the camera around and direct it to you. Today we're gonna be reading some of the confessions that y'all freak nasty mother effers sent me. And you know, I got a whopping 10 billion responses. But we're gonna go through the best ones that I found. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Magda. What can I say? I'm now a licensed therapist that doesn't go outside. Still a baddie. And... And you're probably thinking, Magda, why are you wearing a pearl necklace? Because the way somebody's had me gripping my pearls, like I was an old woman. They call me Shorty's a mega con. It ain't about the race either. It's America. I know y'all didn't really ask my opinion for my opinion, but it is here and you're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna see who needs more help. Me or you. Mental institution. This <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> Bitch needs straight jacket. Okay. <laughs> No. Girl, bye. One time I laughed so hard at a joke, I literally sharded my pants. Um, I have been there. What? I've been there before. But to be quite fair and frank, I had food poisoning. When you do have food poisoning and you need to hit the, the B room, <laughs> all I'm gonna say is good luck because you're not making it there on time. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. A janitor at my school got arrested on school grounds last year for talking to two 8th graders. It was all over the news for a while, but the worst part about it is that he lives six blocks away from me and my friends. Run. When I was eight, I was really hungry and there were no snacks in the house. So I ate a small piece of paper. <laughs> what? Girl, why are you eating paper? Come on. Come on, babe. Babe. She said, let me just eat a little, a little homework. <laughs> Fair enough. I called my boyfriend's dad, daddy. Help. Uh... Okay. Girl, I don't know how you gonna get yourself out of that one. I would just be like, daddy, soon to be daddy, daddy-in-law. Uh. When I was 11, I throw a chair at my teacher and hit her head with a stick until she was unconscious because she didn't let us eat lunch until we finished our 400 word story. I did it on purpose and I don't regret. Um. Call the police. We need to call the police. Y'all are criminals. <laughs> I used to have a crush on fourth grade. I'm gonna say in fourth grade, but I used to always take pictures of him and show my friends. Babe, this is giving stalker. I know him, y'all. I just, know just him. him. Just him. I know him. In fifth grade, I was taking my end of year exams and I really needed to go to the bathroom and my stomach was hurting so badly. I was munching on some expired chips in my crusty, nasty ass pockets. I went up to the teacher and asked if I could go to the bathroom, but she said no. So I sat back in my seat and literally pooped my pants. What is with all of the poop? Y'all be pooping. Y'all be pooping and enjoying it. I know that for a fact. I know that's right. <laughs> okay, so one time, this is embarrassing, but whatever. It was a few years ago, I had a huge crush on this teacher, not naming names because no, 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 but I had so much of an obsession with him that I made a whole ass wear pad. Oh, oh. Fanfic about him. I don't remember the name, but it was wild. Anyways, it was a long time ago, so do not call me a freak. You're a freak. <laughs> I want your dick in my mouth. Do you remember the title by chance? I'm, I'm not asking for myself. I'm asking for like. I'm asking for myself. So when I was in second grade, I had a big crush on a guy, but he was really popular. So like half the school had a crush on him. One day I confessed my love and he rejected and I had pepper spray and I sprayed it in his eyes and ran away like nothing happened. 
Are you good? We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. How do you have that in second grade? Do, do you even know I'm alive? I recommend psychiatric help for that one. Got a bed, put your name on it. When I was younger, I made a school hate account for me and posted the worst pics of me. I did this because I had no friends. Bit. Don't play with me. JK, people actually started defending me and they reported the account. I never told anyone that it was me. That's just embarrassing. Everyone was hating on the one on this one person, aka because I was hating on myself. You kind of ate the system with that one. Scandily yum yum a purple. You know what? This is some goofy thing that I would do, but I probably wouldn't think about it because I don't think that much ahead. I kind of just suffered when I didn't have friends, so. In my school, my class was known for fighting, like with other students, and other classes were known for kissing each other, students themselves. And yet all the teachers say our class is the worst. Glad I'm graduated. Sounds like you're going to like euphoria high with this one, because down in B1, there's a full-on brawl going on. But down in D4 classroom, everybody making out. You need to hang up that computer call. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. This one says, So in elementary school, I had a boyfriend and he would ask me to pee his pants. What? Huh? So in elementary school, I had a boyfriend and he asked me to pee my pants to show that I loved him. Mind you, this was in kindergarten and I didn't even know he was my boyfriend. He just said he was. But anyways, I would tell him no because it was gross and just weird. Well, he would pee in his pants. But then after a week, we just stopped hanging out because we used to play tag. Then for the rest of elementary school, he had a new girlfriend every school year. It was hella weird, but I got a fun story. I mean... Um... Yes, it is a fun story, but all I can think about is now this girl also has the same story because she's probably pissing her pants too. The things that girls have to do in order to show a man that they love them. We pee our pants, for example. So right now I have this weird, uh, <laughs> anybody that adds ah uh, in the sentence, I'm like, girl, we already know where this is going. I have this weird odd dude who I've been talking on and off with and one night he messaged me telling me about how he wanted to hug and cuddle. Boy, if you don't get your squiggly diggly head While he is a girlfriend. <laughs> so I for real just asked him why he's being so weird and why doesn't he do this with his girlfriend but he told me he wasn't feeling her no more. Weesh. But I didn't feel right about letting some guy I barely know hug me so I just cut him off completely. Period. 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 But guess what? He went to the damn principal and told her how he was trying to hang out and he thinks I hate him, making me feel bad and second guess my choices. And the chair on top is that he said I was the reason he doesn't come to school. Okay, stay at home. What do I look like? I'm not your mother. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not your friend. I cut you off. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, girl, bye. Bye. But I just said we're good to get it done and over with. And lately, I've been hearing from people who talked to him saying how he was gonna ask me out, etc, etc. So I had one of my friends to pretend to be my boyfriend just in case. But soon after word got around, he came back to school and tried to say how my BF isn't good for me and how I deserve a nice guy. I just told him I don't really care and to leave me alone, but he just told me to think about how great he would treat me and make me feel. If you know, you know. You already know. The feeling that he's gonna make you feel is agony, pain, Discomfort, distrust, gaslight, manipulation. So now my friends are planning to go pour sugar slash flour in his gas tank and report him to the principal. And I ain't even stopping them. By the way, I'm 15 and he's 18. Okay, um. I'm curious on how y'all got acquainted based on the age range as well. But if you do do this, this is criminal activity. If he finds out it was you, you will go to jail. Let's go. I once effed my dad's boss so he would get a raise. Oh, okay. Lana Del Rey. <laughs> and I also effed his son, aka my now stepbrother. Oh my god! And caught him. I am white. I. Wrap it up. Exit that way. 
We're not gonna talk about that one. That, did your dad get the raise? Is <laughs> Was it worth it? Did your dad get the raise? Damn, if you didn't even get the raise, what the hell are we gonna do? What the hell are we gonna do now? Well, I hope you enjoyed this free little therapy session. Some of y'all need like real help. Like I'm not, I'm not the best at this, so. I do have someone I can recommend you guys to. The number is 911. Y'all need help. Clap if you feel, feel safe. <laughs> oh. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.